Hey all you people, what is going on? I'm here with Samantha. Hello guys, how's it going? I think it was last year I attempted to teach her stick. She actually did very well. I didn't stall out once. She did not stall out once. Well, I mean, she, Knock on. she had a fantastic coach. So I see three pedals. That was in the Mustang and it's been over a year since. I think she's gonna drive the GTI today. But first, we have to get some coffee. I'm gonna get a medium wicked mudslide. Aroma bros, just brew it. This camera angle stinks, I need more of her in here. Let's go to this one. Fun fact, I've never actually ridden in the passenger seat of this car. Stop, are you serious? I swear to you. Okay, what pedals are what? All the, way to the, all the way to the left is the clutch, yes. middle is the brake, okay. right is the gas. First things first, find your driving position. So you want your arms to be extended, but okay. not overextended. So a very slight bend in your elbows. This will give you a nice free range of motion when it comes to turning. Now press in the clutch all the way to the floor. Can oh, you damn. reach it all the way to the floor? That means you have to move your seat closer. Closer so that you can press the clutch all the way to the floor and not be reaching for it. Okay. Move the steering wheel in a bit for you, like that. Does that feel good, natural? Yes. You have probably the worst shoes to be driving stick in right now. You might even want to try it with your shoes off. Really? Yeah, you can feel the clutch a lot more. You can feel the gas, the brake. But we could not do this without Aroma Joe's. Thank you for your partnership. Mm, I'm great. Now my socks are wet. Oh, I'm so sorry. My trunk is dirty. I got a, I got a dirty trunk. Oh. Find your fuel. She found it. She found the fuel. All right. First things first when you come to starting the car. Make sure you're in neutral. If the stick's nice and playful when you jiggle it, you're in neutral. When you're gonna start it, press the clutch all the way into the floor. Put your foot on the brake, and I'll start it. What now? Do I take my foot off the clutch? If you're in neutral, you can take your foot off the clutch. <laughs> now keep your foot on the brake, and release your emergency brake. <laughs> Just for the record, the clutch in this car is a little bit older. The clutch is gonna engage quicker than it would if it were new and the engagement spot's gonna be a little higher up. Oh, okay. On the clutch, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna put it into gear. Push the clutch all the way into the floor. It's this. You put your hand on the side here and push it up into first. It's like, up. perfect. Now you can release your brake. We're gonna maybe roll a little bit. Nope, we're not. Ever so gently, release your foot off the clutch. And remember, we're gonna find that grabbing zone, okay? And the, I'm taking my foot off the brake. Yeah. Completely? Yep. That's, okay. You might see the RPMs drop just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Be very, very subtle when you find that. And ever so slightly push the clutch back in so you don't stall out, okay? So you're gonna see, just lift your foot off the clutch very slowly. Damn. You're gonna start to feel it grab. I'm doing it so slow, so it's not doing anything. That's okay, take your time. This is the most important part right here. What do I do when I feel the grab? When you feel the grab, you're gonna just hold it in that spot, okay? You're just gonna hold it there. Don't let it out too fast or you'll stall. I think it's starting to grab. Keep letting it out. Yes. Oh, I remember now. And now we're rolling, we're rolling. And then... Yep, just keep it in that grabbing zone until we get momentum. And now you can take your foot off the clutch all the way because we're rolling. Shabam, we're in first. Look at that, she didn't stall. Yay, how do I brake now? If you want to brake, put your foot all the way down the clutch and then brake. Oh. All the way down the clutch. Oh. And uh, don't take your foot off the clutch, put it into neutral. Put it in neutral. And make sure it's side to side, that's neutral. Perfect, now you take your foot off the clutch. Okay, so the clutch is the, the key to going and switching eat. <laughs> yeah. So the clutch is the key to switch gears. Some would say that the clutch is clutch. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so you wanna try that again? Mm -hmm. Clutch all the way in, up into first, take your foot off the brake, and then slowly release the clutch, and find that grabbing zone and just keep it in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Until you start to roll. Oh, yes. It's almost there, it's almost there. Keep it in that zone, starting to grab. 
There you go. Keep it in that zone. Don't let it out too quick. Okay. Perfect. Now and we're then, rolling. And then I can let it out? Yep, you can let it out now. Press on the gas a little bit, nice and gently. Because in first gear, it's very responsive, so. So, like, when I'm switching into second, I hold down the clutch, and do I have to press down on the accelerator? You do not. Okay. So, give it a little bit of gas now. We'll get going. All right, this is a good speed to shift. So, you take your foot off the gas, bring it down to second. Yep. And now let, it, let go of the clutch. Now you're in second. Cool. <laughs> and uh, if you want to stop, just press in the clutch all the way and hit the brake. Clutch all the way. Clutch all the way, hit the brake. The brake. And shift it to neutral. That's there. There you go. Always, if it's jiggly, then you're in neutral. The, uh, the shifter on the GTI has a lot of play in it, um, even when it's in gear. So. In neutral, you really just gotta make sure you're neutral when you do that, when you're first learning. Got these nice heated seats on. So I'm teaching her this because A, she wanted to learn really badly. B, if we go on road trips, I need her to drive, you know, mm -hmm. take shifts. Absolutely. And C, I'm gonna be doing a review on the GTI very soon. And when I get the drone shots, I need her to be driving. Oh yes, stunt driver. Stunt drive. <laughs> I'm in second gear. You're in second gear? That was what? Gear. That was amazing. Ah! Oh my god, that was ah! awesome. So All right, now stop. pull just yeah, pull over to the left and there's people here. Do I just press the brake? Press the clutch all the way in and brake. Okay. All right? And then and then shift it in neutral. Perfect. Oh my god. And now they're laughing. Why are they laughing? You just did it perfectly. You didn't stall. <laughs> they're like we're pros. She's the beginner. Find your fuel. <laughs> yes, girl. There's <laughs> someone behind me. Is there really? That's <laughs> 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 just a van. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. Go, 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 go. Shift into third. Perfect. Shift it into fourth. Yeah! She's slamming gears! Ah! Slamming gears in the snow! Now, can you teach me how to stop properly? Downshift. Alright, we'll try and downshift, alright? There you go. So, you know how your RPMs go up yeah, like that? How do I not do that? In order to make it smooth, you just gotta hit the gas a little bit. It's called rev matching. So, you just gotta oh, do a little, a little, oh. a little throttle blip. So we're gonna pull it down to second, hit the gas a little bit. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, it's you gotta hit the gas, get your RPMs up, right? Oh. And then release the clutch so it's okay. smoother. So you're trying to get your engine up to that speed before you release the clutch. Rule of thumb, you don't generally wanna downshift into first while you're driving. It's just gonna be, the RPMs are gonna be oh, way okay. too high. There you go, you're doing a great job. Nope, nope. All right, you stalled out. No! Right, put it back into neutral. Now put clutch all the way in. Yep. Start it up. No! It's this okay, it's all right. Time. Okay. All right, up into, up into first. Now slowly release the clutch. Look at that, that was smooth. You now shift into second. You don't have to go so quickly when you're shifting. You can feel it more. Make sure it's into gear, okay? Okay. No, I don't know what's up here, so I'm just not gonna shift into the All right, sounds good. So when coming to stop, I can just stop, right? Yeah, you can just stop, <laughs> but you have to. Yeah. Oh, wow. Put your clutch in. This is a good spot. You just keep it in second. Go up into the spark. You can release quick. the clutch now that you're neutral. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She wanted mine. <laughs> Sweet. You ain't feeling any of those shifts, are you? Nope. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. Teach me how to stop again. Okay. So, you know how when you downshift from fourth to third, mm -hmm. your RPMs go up when yeah. you release the clutch? Mm -hmm. We want to bring the engine up to that speed 
before your clutch, before you release the clutch, okay? Okay, so I have my clutch down. So put the clutch in, up into third. Now give it some gas. Bring it up to like 3,000 RPM. Clutch is there. still in. Clutch is still in. Bring it, give it some gas. All right, release the gas. Too much gas. And release the clutch. Release the clutch. There you awesome. go. See, it was a lot smoother downshifting. Okay. You just want to give it a little tap with the gas. You don't want to press it like that, okay? So give the gas a tap, a firm tap. Now release the clutch. There you go. That was smooth. Okay. You getting the hang of it? Yes. High five! Yay! She's yeah. driving! She's driving! Stick! Driving stick! <laughs>